Hello everyone, today I'll be talking about an interesting marine bacteria that can be found living inside the gut of surgeon fish, a very large bacteria named Epilopisium fishosoni. This bacteria is highly unique due to the characteristics that separate it from the common bacteria, which is why it is my favourite bacteria. It belongs to the domain bacteria, class Bacillota, order Clostridia, family Clostridiaceae, genus Epilopisium, and species E. fishosoni. The cell was named Apulo, which means gas at a banquet, and Pishim, meaning of a fish. Apulo Pishim means gas at a banquet of a fish, because this microbe is commonly found in the gut of a herbivorous brown surgeon fish. The species name honors Professor Lev Fischelsen, who first discovered the organism, uh, and which is, one of, among, which is one among his many contributions to marine biology. The picture on the left, describes a fluorescent micrograph of E. fishosoni in its early stage of development, stained with DAPI. Moving on, Epilopisium can be morphologically described as oval and elongate in shape, like a grain of rice or a cigar. It can grow up to a maximum size of 600 micrometers, and note that the average length of a, of a bacteria is 2 micrometers. Its volume is also 2,000 times greater than a bacterial cell, because the, the cell has a relatively low surface-to-volume ratio. Surprisingly, F plus cells are highly motile with the ability to re rapidly reverse direction, which is mainly used for evading predators, even though it has no flagella. The mechanism for its movement is by beating fine filaments located on the cell surface. These filaments are different compared to eukaryotic cilia because it lacks the 9 plus 2 macrotubule arrangement found in cilia. The photo on the right describes the structure of an E. fishosoni cell that's 257 micrometers long with two complex compact nucleides at the end. The cell was observed at 6.40 in the morning and will continue to increase in size as it develops throughout the day. What are the, what are the characteristics that make E. fishosoni so unique? Firstly, this bacteria is a gram-positive bacteria with a thick bacteroglycan cell wall. But what makes this bacteria unique is actually its huge maximum size. If Tayo Margarita is the king of bacteria, then Apelopisium is surely the queen because this bacteria is actually the second largest bacterium ever discovered. The maximum length of Tauria margarita is roughly 750 micrometers, while the maximum length of Aplopisium is roughly 600 micrometers. Its enormous size is not the only defining characteristic. Aplopisium cells also have a large variability in size and volume. Cells can be found as small as less than 50 micrometer and as large as 600 micrometers in length. This bacteria also exhibits a viviparity in reproduction where the daughter cells develop within the paternal cell and eventually lies out of the cell. Its life cycle is based on the day and night cycle or referred to as the circadian cycle which reflects the day and night feeding cycle of surgeon fish. It was first discovered as a gut symbiont of brown surgeon fish in the Red Sea and was originally thought to be an undiscovered eukaryotic cell due to its deceptively large size, unicellular nature, motility and DNA localized in a nucleus-like region. Its genome size is also extremely large, much longer than a human genome. The cells can be found in uninucleoid, which means possessing one nucleus, dinucleoid with two nuclei, or very rarely trinucleoid or more. Next, we discuss about the bacterial DNA and genome that also has certain unique attributes as well. But first, assessing the G plus C ratio in its genome places it with the low G plus C bacteria in phylum Firmicutes. The uninucleoids and binucleoids that I mentioned earlier consist of a dense matrix of DNA. Nucleoids are surrounded by an unidentified material that separates it from the remaining cytoplasm. Large quantity of DNA are present in the large cells where roughly 10 to the power of 12 base pairs per nucleoid in large cells, which is over 300 times larger than the human genome. It is the largest genome per cell in the study of eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. Many copies of a genome support growth, mobility, and active metabolism of such a large bacterium. The cells possess DNA binding proteins, which are histone like nucleoid structuring proteins. The largest epilus cells have four to five times the DNA content of a small cell because the mean DNA content per cell is proportional to the mean cell volume. This may be problematic because it may increase the likelihood of error during DNA replication and condensation. The cells solve this problem by organizing DNA into discrete structures uh, to, minimize, to minimize error rate. The genome consists of numerous polythene chromosomes. Polythene chromosomes are very large chromosomes with thousands of DNA strands that provide the cell with many functions. And on top of that, the genome also exhibits extreme polyploidy. 
Polyploidy refers to possessing many chromosomes per cell. One factor that may have contributed to high polyploidy is selection pressure due to evolution of symbiotic relationship that benefit the host metabolism. Polyploidy allows the polypisium to harbor unstable genetic features without detrimental effects. Lastly, only a small amount of parental DNA, which is roughly 1%, is transferred to the next generation. As I have previously mentioned earlier, Apolipisum fischiosoni lives a circadian life cycle within its surgeon fish host. The cell circadian cycle is directly related to the metabolic changes of the host diet cycle. Its life cycle is closely tied to the host feeding cycle and only grows when food is present in the gut, which suggests a parasitic nature. Currently, we lack information and uh, information and research on how Apolipisum and surgeon fish symbiotically relate to one another. The bacterial cell size increases during the day when the host is actively feeding. The life cycle can be split into four stages. Firstly, nucleoid bodies are at the polar ends of the cell with condensed functionally inactive DNA. Second, DNA decondenses and inactivates and activates within the growing nucleoid body and peripheral circular DNA layer forms. Third, the daughter cells form within the maternal bacteria. And fourth, the DNA condenses near the poles of the daughter cells. The daughter cells then continue to develop within the maternal bacteria. The unique reproduction of this bacteria is also closely tied to a day and night cycle. Apolipisium fischiosoni divides by viviparous reproduction. Viviparous reproduction occurs by production and release of single or paired daughter cells that develop within the parental cell and eventually burst out of the cell. This process kills the parent cell. In the early morning, there are a pair of compact and circular nucleus at the ends of the cell, which are the offspring. The colonies can be found in the middle intestine of the host at this stage. During daytime till late afternoon, the nucleus elongate within the parent cell until almost 75% of the parent cell size in both uninucleate and binucleate cells. From evening till late night, the nucleus enlarge to make up large fractions of the parent cell volume and then burst out of the parent cell. The cell colonies are generally found in the posterior of the intestine at this stage. This reproductive process may produce from 1 to 12 offspring at a single time. Lastly, I wish to talk about the importance of this bacteria, mainly its impact on ecological systems involving surgeon fish. Apolipisium colonizes the gut microbiota of surgeon fish through its juvenile diet and then retains the bacteria through adulthood, resulting in a gradual increase of this important symbiont in its intestinal tract. It is not transferred from parent through offspring. Apolipisium is the most abundant genus with roughly 50% abundance in the mid gut and hind gut of juvenile and adult surgeon fish. The bacteria plays an important role in digestion and maintains a stable gut pH of host surgeon fish intestinal tract. The pH is directly related to the enzyme activity of the host. Surgeon fish gut contains numerous secondary metabolites from algae and bacteria, including tigotoxin in concentrations high enough to be harmful to humans. These toxins do not harm the surgeon fish, but are there to prevent the growth of other bacteria. During the co-evolution of these two symbionts, E. fischiosoni had developed anti-toxic defense mechanism to survive in surgeon fish gut microbiome. The surgeon fish diet consists of mainly epilytic algae that grows on rocks and corals. This algal diet is very suited for growth of epilipitian cells. The surgeon fish are important to an ecosystem because they are herbivores in a coral reef. They feed on algal growth of coral rocks, which indirectly help maintain the health and balance of a coral reef system. Coral reefs all around the world are slowly losing their habitat due to increased pollution and human negligence. Therefore, it is our responsibility to maintain these beautiful works of nature. And that is all on the bacteria Apolipisium fischiosoni, and these are the references used to create this video. Thank you.